Howdy folks, it's Angel the Hunting Gear Guy. Every year right around hunting season, I ask a bunch of flashlight companies for free flashlights so I can uh, try out the newest newest tech. Um, I've been like really enthusiastic about flashlights for a long time, especially the LED stuff, like 15 years, something like that, when they were first coming in. They're so good these days. Uh, I got a couple flashlights here from Phoenix uh, that they sent me, and I wanna show you guys uh, what they're all about. So. First, let's just talk about the cases. So these are pretty slim cases here. This is uh, the smaller one. This one's got an 18650 size battery in it, whereas this one's got a 21700, which is like a bit of, bit of a fatter battery in it. Um, they both have like your standard belt loop in there. No clip or, or buckle or button or anything like that on there, which I think is fine. I think like having too much crap on a holster like this is uh, to its detriment. Now the smaller guy here is the PD35. Uh, it's got uh, a pretty spotty uh, style of uh, light on it. Rear uh, activation switch right there. And then it's got a button on the top here for uh, adjusting the brightness of it. So you can see there, it's got a pretty decent spot. Um, not really like super floody. Uh, it does have some cast off uh, just to the side of it. And you can see there that the cast is pretty wide, uh, but it's mostly got most of its energy kind of focused into that uh, that beam in the middle. This bigger one is the TK-16. This one's uh, a little bit bigger and heavier than the PD-35, uh, but because it's bigger and it's got <laughs> way more power as well. I'll put some of the uh, power specs down here, but uh, it's got a lot. Uh, this one has a, a different setup of uh, buttons. So you can see there it's got one big one for start and it's a smaller one for um, you can actually start on that one. That'll get you straight to uh, kind of a blinky beam there if you need to dazzle someone that uh, there's a crackhead on your lawn or something like that and you gotta like get them out of there. <laughs> Maybe you'd use it for that, I don't know. Uh, but it's also got this uh, bigger light on the back here and that's just to engage the, uh, the light however which way you left it. So I can crank it up here and you can see and it's got, it's got a spot as well but it's got a, a little bit more cast and a little bit wider of a spot. Uh, and it's got uh, quite a bit more power than the uh, than the other light. So I'm gonna take this other one here. Let me just get it to max. And you can see that it's got quite a bit more. The smaller one here is on the bottom, and uh, bigger one on the top here. It's a little bit hard to see because it's on that black there, but it's got a bigger uh, spot on it, and uh, it's quite a bit brighter as well. Now in the box, you're gonna get the flashlight itself. They're gonna have these little clips here. You can pull these off if you want. These clips are what I prefer. That I, I prefer to run uh, one of these things. If I'm gonna put it in a pocket or something like that, uh, and I need it to hold, uh, that's the way I will do it. They also come with some lanyards. Not a big fan of lanyards. I just don't find flashlights falling out of my hands. So I don't really need the, the Nintendo Wii strap on there. I'm not gonna throw my flashlight at my TV. Um, but I do, I do like these clips. Uh, the holsters themselves, fantastic if you're gonna wear it a lot. Uh, because it just makes it easier to just kind of plop in and uh, at a moment's notice, just grab it and pull it out. They also come with O-rings, uh, spare O-rings to if the old ones get chewed up and they come with charging cables. Now, how do you charge these things? Well, the batteries themselves have the char charging circuitry all in them. So all we need to do is pull off a cap, either one. There's that, uh, come on, focus. There's that O-ring right there. And when we pull the battery out, we can see that it's got a USB charging port in the top. This smaller one has a, uh, a micro USB. Well, this bigger 21700 has a USB-C charging port. Now, what do you get when you change uh, size on these batteries? You get quite a bit more storage on these things. Typically, they're 5,000 milliamp hours. Typically, the smaller ones are around like 3,200, 3,400, depending on how high or how, how much discharge you want out of them. Uh, these big guys, the, one of the cool things that uh, Phoenix has done is actually put the watt hours on here. So this bigger one is 18 watt hours, while uh, the uh, smaller 18650 style is at 9.36. So uh, double, double, pro pro probably because uh, this charging circuitry is overall less of a percentage of the overall package of this one versus that one as well. Um, why don't I show you guys charging these things? As you can see, the smaller 18650 just has a glowing LED that kind of glows out the top there, while the 21700 has an LED that kind of glows out the middle of that pole there. So I know that some people prefer this style of charging on the battery because if you buy multiple of these, 
then it makes it very easy to hot swap. So you've got your flashlight, you take your battery out, you put that one on the charger, which the charger is just a cord. The, so it works with pretty much anything, very easy to use. Um, you take the charged one out, pop it onto your flashlight, and then you're off again. So if you're using your flashlight a heck of a lot, this can be really nice. Uh, compared to the flashlights where you have to charge the flashlight itself, um, that one is out of commission once it's charging, whereas this one, you just swap the battery and off you go. So how do these flashlights compare with some of the other, well, some, I have lots of flashlights. Um, how do they compare with the other ones? Uh, the biggest difference is the spot on these. Any flashlight that I have that's this size typically has a, a pretty wide flood on it. Um, that flood is fantastic for uh, close in, uh, say tracking a deer or something like that, but you don't get any distance with it. You really lose after like 50, 100 yards. You don't really see anything. Whereas this guy here um, at max power, really great uh, spot on it, puts a lot of power out a little bit, uh, quite a bit longer than uh, some of my more floody flashlights. And ultimately that's why I chose to take this PD35 more often hunting because if I needed to spot a deer that was a little bit further, this was a little bit better for just uh, giving me a little bit more distance. Sometimes when you're tracking a deer, yeah, you're usually looking for like blood that's close up. For that, it is hard to use a spot because uh, spots can kind of like, dr like white out the whatever you're looking at. Um, but you can use the cast on this thing fairly easily just to look for uh, look for blood. And then the nice thing is that every once in a while, you can use that spot to just kind of scan the uh, distance and see if there's a deer piled up that <laughs> you can stop stop your uh, tracking and it's, it's over there kind of a thing, which is handy to have as well if you're not in thick brush. Overall, decent flashlights. I think if you were to go with something like this, buy the extra batteries for it so it's easy to hot swap on them. I think that's where you get a lot of the utility out of these things that you wouldn't get from a flashlight that has the charger port built into it. Um, other than that, decent flashlights, decent build quality on them and uh, pretty good light output. Thanks for watching. Setting on the side there, there's minimum. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more and max. Boy, you can, you can spot along the tree line there, hey? What about that one? A dim, a brighter, brighter, brightest? No, oh, there's brightest. You can see the field pretty well with that. It's a very, it's got a lot of flood on it.